You can basically do whatever you want. <laughs> if you want to create your own brand, if you have about two hours, you see this glitter bow. I This is how we usually get ready for the competitions. First, we read the rules and then practice, practice and practice. <laughs> After each practice, I give scores and analyze mistakes and we see what can be improved and done better next time. in Hong Kong canal to the taxi driving to the hotel I have about two hours to just walk around the city and then I'll have a meeting with the judges we are going to discuss you know like competition which is tomorrow and things like that it's a little bit training but it's not really annoying because it's still warm and on my right hand side there is a nail competition as you can see competitors are competing right now and they're just two minutes left until they finish one toast cultured competition and we're competing in this nomination as well after that I need to judge two more competitions and then I will have some free time before the awards to walk around the show we are at Cosmoprof Asia exhibition and it is huge there are five levels uh, there's cosmetics nail accessories different countries representing packaging and products hair makeup cosmetology everything and now let's go through the most interesting part of this exhibition which is nail hall and this is the venue this is hall 5e and they also have 5c with the nail accessories i like the packaging so you see this glitter bow i think it stands for the color that is inside of this gel polish so this company is called jelly fit and i assume these are the nail polish just check it out there are at least 200 shades what do you feel like when there's just one minute left until the competition starts i feel all kinds of different emotions at the moment i would lie if i say that i'm not nervous because i am but at the same time i feel confident about myself and my work it's like a little bit of both Anastasia's back here. I'm sitting with the judges. Hello. It's so funny when people think that you're taking the still picture, but you're actually shooting the videos. So this is another judge, Uran, from Mongolia. This is my name tag and I cannot read this one. I'm sorry. So these are models coming already. So this is a pink and white. As you put the score in the sheet, then you pass it over to the next judge and this is how the models get judged. So in this competition, we take only two categories, let's say smile lines and length. Now I am judging manicure art competition and the theme is free. So you can basically do whatever you want. And each judge, we take only one criteria. So for example, I had difficulty of the design, meaning I need to focus only on that one. Sometimes it's hard, you know, because you just start seeing all the details, but you need to focus only on this one. So competition is always comparison. So you need to compare like one to the other. So if this one is more difficult than this one, you definitely need to give it more points. They also have boxed mixed media and manicure art competition. So as you can see, these four tables, they're full of this beautiful nail art and I think I'm almost done but I still need to judge some of them. Now there's one tone sculpture competition. This is one hour. They need to do one color clear nails on one hand, so just five nails, and one ring finger should be covered with the red nail polish. So we're competing in this competition too. I'm really nervous. We'll see what the results will be. And I think they have about 20 minutes still to go. So soon we will find out who wins. So she's giving me five because this was her toughest competition and now we're talking about the next one. There is one more to go, which is gel polish competition. 
Now she shared she feels a bit more nervous, but it's just part of the game. This is Cosmoprof, it's like related to business. So people usually come here to, you know, gain some business relationships. So they discuss some terms, some possible opportunities for future partnerships and cooperations. And usually you cannot really buy something here. You can only get samples if you would like to try them. So this is actually what I like about this show. So it's not, uh, I mean, it is crowded, but it's not like crowded because everybody wants to buy something. So you just, you know, can come by each booth and discuss anything that you want, ask questions and decide whether you want to use their products in the future or not. Now it is time to judge another competition. And I don't know if you heard about this, but in Russia we have a myth that Asian girls have beautiful nails and nail beds. And I have to say, this is not a myth, this is true. They all had perfect, long, narrow fingers and nail beds. I really like how they display their products. Usually it's not just, hey, take a look at our jars. They have all different kinds of tips. So now we are just walking around the booth and as you can see, it's not really crowded or busy, which is great, but it is also because this is the last day of the show. And by the way, here's the tip. Almost on any shows I've ever been to, the last day is less crowded. So if you're the one who do not like crowds and prefer just to walk around like this, you should go on the last day. But they may run out of some of the products if this is the last day, but it really depends on your goals. If you just want to talk to people, then it is usually easier on these last days. Everything is so beautiful, colorful and shiny like this, nail files and even toe separators. They are so creative. Take a look at this. This is also common to see the signs of sale because Exhibitors, they usually do not want to bring goods back to their facilities, so they just want to get rid of them. And this is the great chance to buy something at a very low price. Last year, my student Xenia got so lucky that she got LED lamp for free. They just saw her trophies and were like, here's the gift for the champion. Check this out, guys. So if you need high-speed wire internet, you can just simply plug it in here. They also have a really fast Wi-Fi, but this is this is like really great, I think. Like I, I haven't seen something like that before. Time to judge the last and the most beautiful fantasy nail competition. And this is also one of the most challenging ones, because besides nails, you also need to do the full look. Hair, makeup and the outfit itself. And these are the beautiful models. Here are the trophies for the lucky winners and soon we will find out who will get them. This is the team of the judges, and now let's get to know them better. I'm Carrie from Malaysia. I'm Anastasia from Moscow, Russia. Hello, I'm Christine Lee from USA. I'm Singapore, and I'm Rachel Tang. My name's Angel from Taiwan. Hey, from Malaysia. Hi, I'm Ruby. I'm from Macau. Hi, I'm Orang from Mongolia. It turned out that they called me on the stage, but I had no idea because I don't understand Mandarin. So luckily my friend Rachel from Singapore was sitting next to me and she told me, like, Anastasia, it is time to go. Without her, I would have probably just keep sitting and smiling, having no idea what's going on. Okay, the moment of truth, the most sensitive and exciting part, the award ceremony. And yes, they did call Marina on the stage and I got so excited that I even forgot to hit rack on my camera. Well, luckily her husband was recording, so I didn't even catch that first moment. Fourth in pink and white. Fourth place in one tone sculpture. This is the first year that they actually award fourth and fifth. She also got the first, the golden prize, first place in gel manicure. I'm so happy and so proud of her. And this is actually her specialty. She is an educator for gel manicure. She has her own school and this is really well deserved. Good job, Marina. This was my overview of Hong Kong Cosmoprof and I enjoyed it a lot. I met many old friends and met some new friends as well. I didn't buy much, I didn't do much shopping. That's because I don't really need it and this is not really a shopping 
trade show. I just figure out some new brands that I might will be working with in the future and I really enjoy judging this competition. I will definitely be coming next year's as well. So if you would like to compete and you want to start somewhere, Hong Kong is a good uh, destination because the second language is English so it's pretty simple to find everything and to interact with people. Also the trade show if you want to create your own brand, if you're looking for manufacturers for your salon or school, this is also a great place to find them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this is your first time on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new videos just like this one and tutorials every week. See you in my next one. Bye-bye.